Wes Bryant here, ACC Storylines, talking to Miami Hurricanes with David Faronis of the South Florida Sun Sentinel. Now, we know last year this Miami offense was less than ideal, and the quarterback is always going to get the brunt of the blame. But what's the buzz about this Miami offense? How have they been looking? What have you heard? Well, you have the combination of new offensive coordinator, Rhett Lashley, the scheme he's about to bring in, up-tempo, which is what Manny Diaz really wanted to do, get more plays in, get the offense more active, spread type of attack with uh, some air raid components to it so that you know you can get the ball to those talented receivers and athletes that Miami is always known to have, but just often has trouble finding ways to get them the ball. And then you get a transfer like De'Ara King at quarterback, grad transfer we saw what he did at houston uh, 2018 season and combining for 50 total touchdowns and now you mix him in with that new scheme uh and you know hopes are high in, in coral gables this season now his dynamic playmaking ability that is what's most publicized but what skills tangibly and intangibly does he bring to this offense on the field that maybe they were lacking he can escape pass rush that's one thing because uh, this mighty offensive line last year gave up 51 sacks so, you know, when you when you have uh, pocket passers that aren't really able to escape uh, duress and, and, and the pass rush, then it, it becomes problematic. It's a problematic uh, combination. De'Ara King can help that offensive line, which will be uh, more mature this year. Uh, all those guys return, so they come back with experience. Uh, new offensive line coach, Garen Justice. But uh, even when they still have, have those blemishes, uh, a guy like De'Ara King can really cover some of those up by just escaping and turning what would have been maybe a five-yard sack last year into a 20-yard game running the football. Now the season is right around the corner. What have you been hearing coming out of practice about the offense? Is it looking markedly better, or what have you heard? That first scrimmage that they came out, it was pretty astonishing to see that uh, D.R. King, first time out with the Hurricanes in a game-like setting, threw four touchdown passes. That you know you had their junior running back Cameron Harris uh, rushing the football well. They weren't able to run the football very well, even though they had talented backs last year. Just weren't able to get a push last season up front and against what's always a solid Miami defense that they're going up against in this intra squad setting. They were able to do that. Will D.R. King reestablish himself as one of the nation's best? and propel this Miami program in 2020. Well, I mean, those are the expectations. Or I mean, you see some of the uh, the betting lines for uh, Heisman favorites, and he's up there among the, among the top. And, you know, yeah, it, it's... Now, this Miami offense, they lost a lot of this offseason with the whole pandemic, um, you know, a, a season where you have a new quarterback and a new offensive coordinator. You want to get them more time together. But, uh, you know, the team really bonded over uh, Zoom conference calls, uh, over the pandemic, you know, uh, studying the playbook, uh, really uh, simplifying the, the, the system because that's what Rhett Lashley's offense is going to do. It's trying to get players to just uh, react and play instead of thinking about what, they're, what they have to do. So uh, this combination, it, it could really work out and, and the Hurricanes could see some benefits from it.